Hello and welcome to another ICT lesson. Today we want to look at lists. Lists are simply a group of related items. Uh, for example, you can have a group of fruits, a group of vehicles, as you can see here. And we have two types of lists. We have lists where items are numbered one, two, three, like that. Numbering could be also a, B, C, B, or we can use Roman numbers to number them I1, 2I for 2, 3I for number 3, and such. The lists which use numbering are called numbered lists. And the lists where shapes are used to, to denote the different items of the list, uh, like in this case, I have a list of fruits here which are listed but before the item in the list the, there is a certain shape this this shape is called bullet and all of them we call them bullets so a list which uses bullets is called bulleted list and i will go ahead and show you in ms word how to apply lists I will start MS Word and open a blank document. And in this blank document, I want to put a title. Uh, let me just write here fruits. Then after writing the title, since I want to apply different styles to that title, I will go ahead and press enter so that I move to the second paragraph and I will go back to the first paragraph and apply the styles I want. The reason why I'm going to the second paragraph is if I don't move to the second paragraph and I apply my styles in that paragraph, the next time I press enter, all those styles will be taken to the second paragraph, which I don't want. So I'll go back to my first paragraph and here, since I know the font, I will search for the font Lucida and writing. It is suggested there already. I will just press enter. And I want uh, the title to be size 28 here. And I want it red color like that. I will go ahead and type my paragraph. Uh, let me start with the first word fruits. And in this paragraph, I want another font called Kandara. I will just come here and look for Kandara. Uh, since I know the, the spelling, I'll just come here and you can see it is here, Kandara. Just click it. And I want Kandara font 13. But you can see here in my list, I have 11, 12, 14. I don't have 13. In that case, I will just come to my box here and just type 13 from the keyboard. After typing number 13 in the font size there, I just press enter. And remember when you are applying a font or changing the size of text, the text must, must be selected. If it is not selected, it will not happen. So I will go ahead to my sentence and complete it. Fruits are important. But of a healthy diet. Fruits are rich in vitamins and minerals. Which are making our immune system stronger. So I have completed the second sentence of the first paragraph. Remember, I am still in the first paragraph. I will, after putting full stop, always press space that is how we normally write 
After full stop or comma, you put space. So I'm going to put space and complete my paragraph. Some examples. of roots and then i'm going to put colon now i will press enter so that i end my first paragraph then you can see the cursor has moved down to paragraph two in the paragraph two i want to insert a list so i will come to my list here i want the list numbered list with the one two three come to my list and uh, and choose one, two, three. I just click any of this. If you want the one with the bracket, you can choose. In my case, I just want the one with one, two, three without bracket. Then I will add here apples, avocado, oranges, and pears. Then I will press enter. Since my list has only four items, and now it is suggesting for me to put the fifth item I don't want to, to put. So I want to switch over the list. So to switch over the list, you'll go back here at, at the toolbox or toolbar. And right now it is uh, highlighted blue because it is active. You click it so that you switch it off. I just click it. Then you can see my list has ended, and it has taken me to a new paragraph. In the new paragraph, I'm going to type another sentence here. Examples of nutrients that most fruits contain are. Now I will press enter to move to the next paragraph. And in the next paragraph, I'm going to insert now a bulleted list. It is here. Just click bullet. There are different shapes here. Let me just choose uh, this one. You can choose any. So I will type here vitamins. I will press enter. Minerals. Enter. Carbo. Hydrate and press enter. So in my bulleted list, I don't want to add the fourth item. So I will go back to my toolbar and switch off my bullet button. So I will just click it to switch it off like that. Then uh, in the new paragraph, I will add the last sentence, the following. are pictures of different examples of fruits then i'm going to press enter now i will insert pictures here i have pictures in the folder on the desktop so to insert a picture, you click where you want to start inserting the picture. Then you come to the Insert tab and click this uh, picture button. Then you go to where your pictures are. In this case, my pictures are on the desktop. I will click Desktop. I will open my Fruits folder. And I will click Apples and click Insert here. Yeah? Then I will point to the corner of this picture and reduce it in size because I have four pictures to insert there. I need more space. I will click at the next to this picture and pr press space bar four times. One, two, three, four. To show you the next place to insert picture. So I will come back here, insert picture. I have oranges. Just click insert. Go to my picture at the corner and pull it down until it is in the same level as the, the other picture. Click next to the picture. Press space bar four times. One, two, three, four. 
You can even press two times or three times depending on what the way you want your document to look like. In my case, I'm doing it four times. In the set pictures again, avocados. Use it at the corner like that. Till it is the same size. Click next to the picture. One, two, three, four spaces. Click insert pictures. Uh, I will pick my pairs and reduce it at the corner like that. So I have four pictures here. Now I want to put red border around these pictures because my title is red. I'll just click a picture. Then in the picture tool here, you just uh, click picture tools. After clicking, you will see here picture border. You just click picture border, come to weight, under weight, I will choose three and a quarter here. And I will change, go back to my picture border and choose red color. Click next picture, go to weight, choose three and a quarter, two and a quarter, sorry, and I will choose here red. Click the next, just repeating the same thing. Wait, come to two and a quarter points. Go back to the picture border, click red color. Click the next picture. Go to the wait, two and a quarter border. Back to picture border, choose red color. Last, I want to put names of these fruits below the pictures. So in that case, I don't want to use the normal paragraph. I just want to use a floating text on top of the paper. And I will use a text box. I will just come to Home, Tab, uh, or I'll just come to Insert Tab. There is this uh, text box tool here. You just click Text Box, the down arrow. Then you just choose Draw Text Box. Draw Text Box. Then I will just draw a text box below the pictures here. Then I don't want this black border, this black box to, to appear here around the text box. So I will, while it is selected like this, I will come to the shape outline up here, shape outline, and choose here no outline. So that the border is not visible. Then I, I will just type the name of this, this is apples. If, if it is hiding some text, just point to this handle, bottom handle, and pull it down a bit. Go back to my sentence. Put spaces. When I reach where the orange pictures is, I just take orange in those. Spaces, avocado. Avocados. and pairs. So here I am using a text box to put the names. After typing the names, you just point to the border of the text box. When you see a star appearing or four arrows, like uh, a plus sign, you just click. When you click, the cursor inside the box stops blinking. Now you can use the arrow keys to slowly move upward. Eh? You just use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move upward and position the text where you want in a nice location like that. So finally, students, you can see my document is ready. It looks pretty. I have used the list and I have also inserted pictures to it and I also applied different font styles to it and text of different sizes. Go ahead, try this at home and see you again in the next lesson. Bye-bye.